Have you ever watched a GoPro commercial thinking how epic it is? Um, I'm sure you have, I mean, they are truly awesome. Then you decide to get their newest camera, you turn it on and well, it looks awful. Okay, but I'm in my room, obviously I need to go to a cool location and shoot something interesting, right? You pack your bag, get in your car, drive for two hours, get the shot and well, it still doesn't look that good. Now, this video is not really about the GoPro, but more about the mindset and the people who use this or any other camera for that matter. There are way too many people who are always blaming their gear for their bad footage. They keep saying, if I get this camera or this gimbal, I will finally be able to create the video that I see in my head and I will be a great filmmaker. But the truth is, in most cases, anything but that. When the footage we shot doesn't look as we imagined it, the first thing we usually do is go on YouTube and find a video which shows us the best settings for our camera. We set it up and we get this little dose of dopamine because we feel like we made our camera 10 times better and as if we unlock the secret to awesome filmmaking skills. And despite this feeling, we are once again disappointed afterwards, as if nothing was changed. Then we get a little bit angry inside, we say to ourselves that the GoPro commercial was definitely not shot with the GoPro, we write comments and make videos about how much this camera sucks, that we don't recommend it, and that way our filmmaking becomes more and more about the tools and less about the story. In other words, we are developing a toxic mindset which makes us create and achieve less because we blame anything but ourselves. Think about it this way, when watching a funny video of animals doing dumb shit, do you ever get upset or even think about how bad the video looks? No, because the stuff that you are seeing is funny and it makes you laugh. It's good content and that is the most important thing and the reason why this is such a good shot and this is not. Let's compare two different shots. Here is shot number one. And here is shot number two. I'm pretty sure that your reaction to the first clip was something like, Hmm, that's pretty cool. Is he going to show a magic trick or something? Are those some kind of special cards? It doesn't really matter if you're into cardistry or not, but I guess you did find it somewhat interesting. Now for the second clip, there aren't really any questions you could ask and thus you perceive it as boring. And since I forced you to watch it, you are trying to make something out of it. And when you realize that it doesn't contain anything interesting, well, unless you're some kind of technician and wonder what kind of propane tank this is, you start paying attention to things that doesn't really matter. You notice that this clip is poorly shot, the lighting sucks, it has a lot of noise and so on. Now of course this is a very over exaggerated example, but it proves my point. Story is the first thing we look for. Now if we get back to the GoPro commercial one more time, you can clearly see that they know this. And with every single commercial starting from the very first gen GoPro, they have always managed to get our attention and make us think that we can achieve the same kind of footage with their camera. And well, yes, we can. But the thing is that they have always featured world-class athletes showing us the most amazing action footage and the video just never stops. It is so dynamic and we don't even have time to search for the pixels, the grain and the noise. And another misconception people have is that they think that shooting a video like this is as simple as just pressing the button. After all, GoPros are made with ease of use in mind. But these videos are extremely complex, most people just don't notice it. They always shoot in perfect weather conditions, they use diving filters, ND filters, and probably spend a huge amount of time color grading, editing and so on. That's a lot of work and I feel that most people just treat their GoPros as point and shoot video cameras and that is the problem. If you think about it, it's absolutely mind-blowing what this $399 camera can do for you. You don't need a gimbal for it because it is absolutely rock steady, no matter how much you move or how fast you run. It shoots 4K 60, I mean our Sonys can't even do that. It has amazing microphones and it is even freaking waterproof. You know, waterproof cases cost up to like 10K. They're super expensive. How on earth can you say that this little camera sucks ass for this price? I feel like if GoPro would come in a form factor like this, people would take it more seriously. Because, well, let's say that both these cameras produce the same image. Who looks more like a filmmaker? The guy on the left or the right? Obviously the answer is clear, and again, I'm over-exaggerating here just to prove my point, but the, but the same applies when you have a good DSLR and you dream of owning a RED camera. The thing is that we worry too much about what we don't have and forget what we have already. And this is not just about filmmaking, this is about life in general. Because at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to brag about something instead of actually going out there and start doing shit. You need to understand that filmmaking is not as easy as just pressing the button. Even if you think that you know all about lighting and finding the right angle, 
And if you don't know how to do that with your entry level DSLR or GoPro, then why do you even consider or dream of owning a RED? If your footage is shit and you decide to buy a RED camera, your shit will have more pixels, colors and dynamic range, but it's still just shit. It's like if you are a loser and you buy a Lamborghini, you're still just a loser with a Lamborghini. Now, I didn't make this video to tell you how good or bad your filmmaking is. In fact, I'm guilty of doing all these things and having these toxic mindsets. And it's not like I don't want a better camera, for sure I do, but I know that it's not going to improve my skill in any way. A good example of this is when five months ago I decided to buy a new laptop thinking that it would improve my productivity. You know, I already had an amazing desktop with 64 gigs of RAM and amazing internals, but I thought if I had a laptop I could go to a cafe so I don't have to work from home, thus I'll get more dedicated and will get a lot more shit done. $5,000 later I'm still struggling with being productive, yet it did make my editing process just a little bit more enjoyable and I do prefer working in a cafe, but that laptop didn't make me a better video editor, absolutely not. These issues cannot be solved by just buying more shit. You need to work on yourself and that is and remains the only way of solving this. My buddy Gunders is actually a huge inspiration for me when it comes to this because he's always working on the shittiest laptop you could ever imagine. Premiere takes a whooping 5 minutes to open and every time I give him my 10 bit drone footage he wants to whoop my ass because his Premiere just crashed because of it. And yet he's always a few hours or even days ahead of me when we are working on our projects. Another example is when we are shooting slow motion with our Sony Alpha 6500 cameras. He's using it as much as he can and I stick to 4K because I'm afraid of that uh, grainy ass 1080p footage. I mean, it really does sound silly, but shit like this happens all the time and I realize that most filmmakers don't even notice it because they keep blaming the camera, keep blaming the quality and the resolution and, well, do I really have to go on? But yeah, I hope you found something useful out of this. Uh, let me guys know if you would like to see more videos like this because I feel that most creators on YouTube are only talking about the technical aspects of filmmaking and not focusing so much on the psychological aspects. So that's something I'll be covering in this series. But for now, thank you so much for watching be grateful of what you have make your tools transparent and make the story your priority now get out there and start shooting and uh, peace out